Pikachu and friends in Storytime Adventures. Cha-Cha had a lot of toys that he no longer played with. He wanted to give them to the younger children. But there were many children. And Cha-Cha didn't know who to give the toys to. Huh? Choo-Choo, there are so many children here. Who should I give my toys to? You've taken good care of your toys, Cha-Cha. And so, you must give them to someone who will take care of them too. Huh? I have an idea. Why don't you leave the toys here and watch the children? It will help you make the right choice. Just like Grandpa Mouse did when he wanted to see which one of his daughters would be the best one to look after his family. Huh? Grandpa Mouse? His daughters? Yes! Let me tell you a story. And so, Choo Choo began to tell Cha Cha a story. Grandpa Mouse was an old mouse. He lived in a big house with his four daughters and many baby mice. Grandpa Mouse worked very hard. He took care of the whole family with the money that he earned. But Grandpa Mouse was growing old. He wanted to rest and give someone else the responsibility of looking after his family. I'm growing old now. I must find someone else to take over my responsibilities. Hmm. My four daughters are kind and nice, but I must see which one of them is wise and sensible and the best one to look after the family. The next morning, Grandpa Mouse went out of the house first thing. When he returned, he had four bags with them. They all had raw peanuts in them. Later that day, Grandpa Mouse called his four daughters. And gave them a bag each. My dears, all these bags have peanuts in them. You all must each take a bag. And then give me back the peanuts after six months. Okay, Dad. So, each of the four daughters took a bag of peanuts. They were puzzled and wondered what they should do with the peanuts for six months. Time flew by and soon six months had passed. Grandpa Mouse called his daughters once again. My dears, it's been six months since I gave you each a bag of peanuts. Now I would like for you to give me my peanuts back. Yes, Dad! Grandpa Mouse's first daughter had kept her bag of peanuts in a tree hole. She went to the tree and took the bag out. But when she opened the bag, she found that all the peanuts had turned rotten. Huh? Oh no! Grandpa Mouse's second daughter had sold her peanuts for two gold coins. And she had kept the two gold coins very safely. As soon as Grandpa Mouse asked for the peanuts, she took the coins to the market to buy a bag full of peanuts. 
But, to her shock, the price of the peanuts had doubled. A bag of peanuts costs four gold coins now. Huh? <laughs> Grandpa Mouse's third daughter had eaten some of the peanuts. And then, she had eaten more and more. When she opened the bag, she realized that she had finished all the peanuts and that the bag was empty. Huh? Oh no! I finished all the peanuts. Grandpa Mouse's fourth daughter took Grandpa Mouse to a field near their house. It was full of peanut plants. And Grandpa Mouse saw that there were peanuts growing all over the field. Dad, I planted the peanuts you gave me here. They have grown into plants. All the peanuts in this field belong to you. Well done, my dear. Grandpa Mouse was delighted. He realized that his fourth daughter was wise and clever. And so he decided to give her the responsibility of looking after his money and family. You used the peanuts I gave you very wisely. You planted them and made them grow. I gave you just one bag of peanuts, but you've turned them into a hundred bags. You are wise and responsible. You'll do a good job of looking after my hard-earned money and our family. Thank you, Dad. Grandpa Mouse's fourth daughter looked after his money and the whole family very nicely. Cha-Cha liked Choo Choo Story so much that he decided to be like Grandpa Mouse. Okay, Choo Choo. I'm going to be like Grandpa Mouse and choose carefully. I'm going to leave my toys here and see who takes the best care of them. Cha-Cha set his old toys down. All the children came and picked them up. Most of them started mistreating the toys. But Baby John played with the toys carefully. He also shared the toys with others. Cha-Cha saw that Baby John loved the toys just like he did. Choo-Choo, look! The other babies are wrecking my toys. But Baby John is caring for them so nicely. He also likes to share the toys just like I did. So I'm going to give my toy to Baby John. And so, Cha-Cha gave all his toys to Baby John. You can have my toys, Baby John. <laughs> I know you'll take good care of them. Huh? Thank you. Cha-Cha felt very happy whenever he saw Baby John playing with his toys. For Baby John took very good care of Cha-Cha's toys. And Cha-Cha knew that he had made the right decision. Sammy also had to work very hard. He needed money to buy food and medicine for his mother. 
Mr. Elephant, you better stop treating us rabbits so badly. We may be small, but together we are mighty. A little goat was crossing through the forest. He was carrying a pot of golden honey. The woodpecker to talk to the elephant. M m Mr. Elephant?